All right, in this video, we're going to look at the heartbeat animation in KOWP. This animation has a few globals that we can customize as well. We can change the red heartbeat to whatever color we want. We can adjust the black to any color that we want as well. We can also adjust the duration. We can make it faster. We can make it slower. And then we can apply a blur to it as well. Now that may not look too well, but uh, it does kind of give a different effect, almost like a sound wave effect or something like that. Almost like a music equalizer. If you set that blur really high, you can get that effect. And let's actually have a look at that right now. I'm just gonna fix this end color. I'm gonna set it back to black. And I'm gonna bump that blur on up some more. I'm gonna bump the speed on up, make it faster. And let's see what we have here. Bumping the blur up some more. And now we get a whole different effect. It does not even look like a heartbeat animation anymore. Almost like a music equalizer effect, if you will. So imagine putting several of these inside of one piece. But now let me talk to you about how to actually make it. To make the heartbeat animation, I actually created a document in Affinity Designer. Its dimensions were the dimensions of my width and height in custom. You can use the system information function, SIR width and SIR height to get that. What's most important here really is the width and something tall enough such that it will fill up the whole screen. And notice it is white. When I exported that image, this is what it looks like. A white image with a transparent heartbeat here. And that's really what you have going on in KOWP. I'm gonna bump that blur back on down. And really all it is is a big black image. Yes, white over here. We apply a colorized filter to get it to turn black or whatever color we wanted to because we did change that down here a moment ago. But it's just the image. And that image, I can set whatever color I want to. I have some squares. I actually have a horizontally centered stack group in the background behind this image that is showing through these transparent lines like you see over here. Now you can pick up the image, you can pick up the Affinity Designer file. I have both of those in the Heartbeats folder in my KOWP Free Stuff folder. You can also pick up this preset in my Free Wallpapers folder. Just look for DS Heartbeat. That's what's going to have one that's remotely similar to what you see here. So to set this up, take that image, pop it into custom, set its width to the width of your screen. As you can see, I have that set up right here. Also for that image, set its filter to Colorize set the color to end color, that's the black that we have here, and then set that blur to that number global for blur. Right now I don't have any blur applied, but we can easily apply some blur to get the effect that I showed you a moment ago. Now if I come back and take away the width of 720, notice really what we have here is that rectangular image that you see over here. But by me filling up my entire screen, with that thing, it's going from top to bottom. We can't see anything else except for what gets shown through the lines like you see over here. Now for those green squares here, this is a horizontally centered stack group and I did hide the image so that you can see these. There's really two squares. Both of them are set to a width of 720. They are identical, but they're right beside each other inside of a stack group. If we go over to paint, and let me take away that right now, but that way it looks and you can see the animation. If I look at the paint, start color is the green, FX I have it set to a horizontal gradient with the end color for my color. I didn't adjust any of the other settings here, but back in that shape too, I also have it rotated 180. That way the right side of the square is green, the left side of the square is black. The reason why I have two of them is that so I can animate it, I can loop it, scroll with a loop, and set your ease to straight, duration to GV dur. And this is what's given that loop where when one square goes off the screen, the other one's coming on, but it's actually looping through and it's given the effect as if it never ends. If I were to take away one of these squares, let's delete that one. Now what's going to happen is this square is going to go off the screen. You can see the red line and it's kind of coming back halfway through. This would also require you to adjust your animation a little bit more, but by copying and pasting and having the two same squares, when this one goes off, this one is coming on and it loops right back and you never even notice that it's really no choppiness to it when technically one square is looping right back on top of the other if that makes any sense. 
To show you that further, if I take this image and I take its size and bump it on down, you can see the two squares. Here's a square, here's a square, and now it just looks as if these two squares are infinitely looping, which technically they are, but that's exactly how we're getting this effect here of having an infinite loop. It looks like we have an infinite number of squares when in reality all we have is two squares on loop. So bumping that size back on up, let's save this, let's go back to the home screen. And uh, yeah, so pick this up from the free wallpapers folder if you want. If you want to mess around with the Affinity Designer file, maybe you want to make your lines taller or shorter, or maybe you want to move them up, the file's there. If you want to get the original image that you see here, feel free to pick that up, whatever you want to do, enjoy it. And uh, yeah, there you have it. That's the heartbeat animation in KOWP, and that's it for this video. I hope it helped.